Hey you guys, so it is day two girl, self-isolation. I feel like I'm in some bad horror, horror movie <laughs> where I'm by myself, <coughs> excuse me. Um, We officially got word from JV School yesterday that they will be moving to an online format, which I appreciate, but I'm like, hmm. Most children at this age are kinesiatic, kinesi, yeah, no, I can pronounce nothing. They basically learn better with sensory, uh, with their hands, talking. Um, most humans, in my opinion, uh, learn better by doing, by action, instead of looking at something online and doing a worksheet. This is someone who actually manages online training. I know that, it would work better that way. So, exhibit A. I have a lot of stuff back here that in addition to what they will be providing, I will be um, getting that together for JB. It's, it's going to take me all day to get it together. So I'm looking at his assignment. We are using Classroom Google. I know these teachers busted their butts to put this together. So I do appreciate that. So we, we're not going to disregard it. Um, so she has already assigned three things for him that are due on Sunday. Yeah. So there's a math assignment, core knowledge assignment, and CKLA, which is in their work workbook. So at noon today, we're gonna go up to his school and pick up his packages. Now, one of the things his school is providing, they are providing care. Um, I, I think when I dropped him off yesterday for it. Now we're paying for it, it's like $50 a day, but he's only going, He's only going once or twice a week just so I can catch up on work. Cause you guys, I can't work with this child here. I cannot work with, I have no idea how people are, who are able to work from home are going to do it with kids at home. It is hard. Some of them can, but depending on the age of your child too, JB is still hands on. So as soon as he gets up, I mean, I have my little breaks in between, but the type of work I do, I need complete silence. I need to be able to focus for a few hours straight. That's why I get up so early. Let me get back. So around noon, we're gonna go up to his school to pick up a package. And like I said, his school is providing care. Um, and there's not a lot of kids there. There are probably, when I picked them up yesterday, there were less than 15 kids there. So not a lot. And girl, they are taking extra precaution. Like before your child even goes in, they have to wash their hands and they sanitize them down. Um, I gave them some extra products that I have because I am a prepper. I was prepping before this stuff started. Y'all know this. And so, yeah. Anyway, we will be going to the park today. I'm going to continue to catch up on some things with work before JB wakes up. It's almost seven o'clock. Um, I want to gather some things for school at home. And once I go and pick up his assignments, then I'll definitely know how I can supplement what we have at home with what he has here. I don't want it to be, to be overwhelming. Um, I don't plan on spending no more than three hours a day on homeschooling with him right now because, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. All right, you guys, this is what the homeschooling stuff is looking like. This is a little laptop my husband bought JB just two weeks ago, ironically. Um, it is a lot. I didn't get a chance to get everything done because I called another mom who was having, she's having a really hard time with her two children who goes to JB school. One of them is special needs. And she said that she was so frustrated. She actually emailed the principal. It is a lot of work that these children have to do. And they send in assignments every day. Um, and so we have four different topics. Within each topic, there was between one to three tasks that were due each that are due each day. I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very honest. I'm going to not stress about this, y'all. I'm gonna do what I can. Today was a waste because a lot of things came up with me at work. Um, and so what I'm gonna have to do is first thing in the morning, I'm going to get a lot of this stuff together again and figure out a schedule. I started writing things down for which day. He is going to camp tomorrow, and so I'm gonna be packing some of the worksheets. The guy who's running the, I shouldn't say camp, daycare facility, he, he let me know that they are making sure that the kids are doing what they need to do. I feel very confident. Let me tell you something, God has to last say. I feel very confident that my child is not gonna get sick at this place. They're taking every necessary precautions on this, you guys. Um, hold on. I'm, I'm making a late dinner because I was literally on the phone with my homegirl 
for a while. She's very fearful, which I understand because she is has battled cancer multiple times. So she has a suppressed immune system and her youngest child has a suppressed immune system. So they are not going anywhere. That's a little bit of a not really, <clears throat> y'all. <laughs> this is funny. I started coughing in the store because I swallowed wrong, but look, I should have brought my water. My eyes were watering, turning red, because I was trying to, I was trying to suppress that cough because I don't need people to think I got the Rona. I don't need y'all think I don't need nobody thinking I have the Rona. But look, I have a tip for you guys. I will probably post this vlog um, <clears throat> this Friday. It's Friday. Then I have always kept large size hand sanitizers in my vehicle. I think that's probably one of the reasons why I don't really get sick, knock on steering wheel, because I mean, I am, I'm a germaphobe. I've been like this for a very long time, especially since my um, immune system is suppressed. So whenever I go to the store, whenever I get, as soon as I get in my car, this. I have two in my purse. I have wipes in my purse. I'm not playing. <clears throat> like I always been that way. Always. So let me show y'all what I've got. I got a couple of things for JB um, to keep him entertained. So as we are out every twice a week, I basically have something that a surprise toy or something to keep him motivated and entertained. <clears throat> let me show y'all what I got at the Dollar Tree. I got a dry erase board little easel for him we can practice addition problems we can practice handwriting we can practice spelling words on this to keep him encouraged i also got some um stickers for rewarding and whenever he gets a uh stickers going all the way straight across he will get a reward <clears throat> i purchased a folder for his homeschool stuff um i got a second grade workbook to prepare for second grade and I got a drawing pad <clears throat> blank paper we can do everything with this another thing that I plan on doing I learned how to type on a typewriter uh, <laughs> y'all I'm not that old I'm in my 30s you know but I remember being in, in I remember being in high school I think it was like seventh grade and they had the not the old typewriters but one of the more fancier i'm gonna turn off the car y'all the fancier typewriters and it is raining if you hear something and so she would you know the typewriter has a flap over it so they she would cover our hands and we will have to type. That's how I learned how to type. So I think one of the things I'm going to do is see, just go to the Goodwill every so often and see if I can purchase JB a typewriter because yes, <clears throat> I really do feel like they're introducing these kids to stuff too fast. But the teacher suggested that they go onto this website for typing because they're gonna have to be introduced to typing to prepare them for second grade. This is a lot of stuff and I don't want to overwhelm my child with things. <clears throat> Let me show you guys what I printed out. Now, um, I went ahead and made a schedule of things that we have to do today and things to do tomorrow. He will be home tomorrow and he will be going to the care Friday, but not all day. He's, he won't be, he hasn't been all day at these places since, you know, this stuff has happened. Um, so this is our schedule and I'll, I know y'all can't see that, but I'll just let you know. Y'all, what the hell? Let me adjust the light. All right, girl. Now I look Coco. Now you can see, this is our schedule. So we're gonna have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule that is the same, and then a Tuesday, Saturday schedule. We're gonna skip Thursday. Now, of course, my school, our his school, excuse me, has done everything, transferred everything online. I'm gonna let you know right now, my child's not gonna be doing all that stuff. And I know it's a little dark now, but I want you guys to see this instead. He's not gonna be doing everything. I am not going to overwhelm myself, stress myself out, and my, my son out, JB out, because I'm following their career. It would be totally different if I was following my own curriculum. Oh yes, we would be good, but I have to follow the school curriculum until we decide what the hell we're gonna do. Um, the thing that's very challenging, y'all, in all this is that I was supposed to be touring other schools in preparation for transferring to another school. That was supposed to happen this week. 
so I can't even transfer to an I could technically transfer but it will be I would be transferring blindly because I have no idea how the other schools are so anyway hey guys this is gonna be the first day where we're following our schedule it is actually Thursday today which is supposed to be our off day but since he was at um, camp yesterday we're gonna do the Monday Wednesday Friday schedule to catch him up also and um, overall he has three hours of homeschooling based off this schedule what I do before he gets up in here first of all we don't start to nine o'clock because that's just you know whatever so the first thing I do is set out his laptop this is his Google Chrome that my and then daddy bought me a switch daddy bought you a switch I got you another switch <laughs> <laughs> so I put out his home his work I have to stop saying homework and so we have here his math that he oh has God. to do today um, we have to do this this from what yesterday I got to switch for you. I, I know, baby. Here are his spelling words. We're just going to go over them, talk about them. I'm going to have him hand trace them. Um, his workbook. And so, yeah, we split this out over throughout the entire day, going from 9 to 2. And look, if we can't get it all done, it's not a big deal. So how are you liking it so far, JB? Is it going good so far? You could be honest. This will actually, this will be our first full day. You don't like <laughs> this will be why? What's the problem? Because you're home, y'all. I think uh for the especially for the smaller kids, they're home. Because I'm because like I'm so home. Yeah, so that's what it is because we're home and so he's not used to it. But this today, baby, will be the first full day of a schedule, so you can really tell them how it went by the end of the day, okay? You're gonna have tons of breaks, okay? Okay, baby. Let's go ahead and make this for you. Hold on. Am I? Okay, meet you better. Let's come on. Boy. Watch this. Goodbye. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> How many candles? Old as hell. <laughs> You're 25 years old. You the ABC mouse. You're seven. All right, sweetheart. So you want this hair? Mm hmm You want it black? Mm-hmm. Here we go. What was that? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. this is me. Come on, let's go. Okay. Bye. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> she said, come on, let's go. Goodbye. <laughs> Good Lord. Leg, where's your leg at? Can mm -hmm. you point to your leg? Right here. Mm -hmm. leg. I'm gonna show you guys what we're working on. It's a little bit of biology. We made JB a little character. This is called starfall.com. This is so adorable. So baby, how was your first day at school? on schedule this is the first time we did it on schedule so good and <laughs> he's playing a game it was good but we're behind y'all we're passing hours a and little it was like kind of good and um i i got most of them right and yeah yeah good job sweetheart so yeah y'all it was <laughs> He's so excited because my husband bought him, him him this new video game a switch child <laughs> i told him i got another switch for him okay i'll show them what it looks like so yeah, my husband, he just got this in yesterday. So today was his f first full day playing it. So we're, we are, um, we're supposed to be done at two. We didn't get done till a little after three uh, right now. And this, um, yesterday was my first full day playing. Yeah, yesterday was, well, I think I think today was your first full day, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause you woke up today. Guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be preparing a couple of meals and a couple of meal ideas. Y'all know I've always been this way, but definitely right now, given a time to where um, food is being rationed and people don't have a lot of options in their area. Um, the good thing about me is that I'm able to purchase just about anything and can make a meal honey out of just about nothing. Um, <clears throat> so one of the things I definitely have done is stockpiled on your non-perishables. Um, I have tons of different rights. I can show you what I have in here real quick. 
all right you guys so i just want to show you real quick what i have in my pantry y'all know me if you've been following me for a while you know that i like to keep a lot of different stuff on hand for this reason y'all hear me say that you know you look at my old vlogs i always say i like to keep at least two weeks worth of food um but ironically speaking a week before things started to get really bad i was running low so i just randomly started buying stuff i've only been to the grocery store to purchase food twice since the outbreak and I'm good for it honestly if push comes to shove this could last us a month so I have here all types of rice I have minute rice brown rice white black organic uh, Keanu dried beans pinto beans red beans canned foods I don't know where you're at but where we're at there's hardly no canned foods especially canned tomatoes which honestly are not good for you canned tomatoes that is but I have here coconut milk I have chipotle I have Pasta sauce was really hard to find. Um, and then just a bunch of muffin mix. I do have uh, cornmeal back there. I have a couple of boxes of Jiffy cornbread milk mix. I have at least one, two, three, four, five, five boxes of different types of pasta. I have cake mix crackers, um, craft monkey, macaroni, macaroni, monkey runny, macaroni and cheese. That's just, you know, we don't eat that, but whatever. Um, was running low on finding JV cereal. He only eats Apple Jacks, girl. So, uh, whenever I saw it in the store, I went ahead and just got a box. We're good on snacks and frozen food. Y'all have to excuse my freezer because that is not organized. Frozen food. I have tons of frozen um, fruit. We have mini pancakes. I have one, two, three two out here of frozen um vegetables that's getting low i have at least six to eight i'm gonna say six six frozen meat but honestly you guys push come to shove you do not need meat i mean i know people were freaking out. i can't find any chicken breasts you really don't need if you're hungry you don't need meat another thing that i purchased last year it was on sale at my local fries i know this is a little blurry i was able to get these huge four pound bags of pinto beans from my local fries last year they were like 50 cents or something and if stored properly beans can last honestly i've heard like up to 15 years i also have a good amount of food in my stockpile <laughs> i have at least um, a week's worth of food in my stockpile and here in my kitchen I have about a month's worth so y'all let me show you why I'm cooking okay so I'm gonna be making a personal chicken pot pie I've been craving it when we were in Sedona my husband ordered this huge chicken pot pie that can free feed three three people excuse me he ate the whole thing by himself I had one or two bites and so I've been craving it it's something I have honestly cooked maybe two or three times and the last time was a couple of years ago so this is what I'm gonna be what I'm gonna be doing while I'm cooking this I'm also going to be getting some ingredients ready well not necessarily ready I'll show you what I'm gonna be making tomorrow I could make it tonight but I'm tired the chicken pot pie honestly won't be so so bad um tomorrow I'm gonna to be making a chicken stew which is very similar to the ingredients of chicken pot pie instead though I'm gonna be adding corn and potatoes to it okay so chicken pot pie is fairly simple I have three chicken breasts broiling on the um, stove here and some chicken bouillon so to that I'm gonna be adding this melody of peas and carrots frozen not a lot I have some carrots excuse me some um, onion here a can of green beans chicken bouillon garlic heavy cream flowers in the back some celery you don't really have to add celery and then i have some pie crust now since this is personal i'm going to be put it in this little nine inch cake pan i'm going to unroll this cut it in half fold it in put my filling in put put the other half on top and bake it now you guys y'all know i i cook by taste um so i'm basically you're going to see everything i'm going to be cutting up the onion sauteing that with the garlic adding the vegetables adding um, some flour adding chicken broth or chicken bouillon and some heavy cream to thicken that up and then add some shredded chicken and basically spoon that into the pie shell. Ryan Little. <laughs>